Hi, MacGyver Sharon here. Today we're going to try to put a swivel seat into my passenger side of my 2019 Chevy Express. We'll try to make this video quick and short and not so drawn out. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. So this is the swivel. The Amazing Auto LLC SprinterSwivel.com passenger side. It's actually for Chevy Express, my 2019 comes with a bag of nuts and bolts and this oh my gosh is so heavy but I guess I'm supposed to put this between the base and the seat and pull this and it'll swivel around so let's uh, get it in there and see what we can do before it gets way too hot so that's the base there's four bolts that hold that in. And there's four bolts that hold the seat assembly onto the frame. I'm leaving the frame in and I'm taking off these four bolts that go all around here. And then I gotta pop the seat off. Let's see. This times four. It's a pretty nifty tool. It's a swivel. All right, back to the labor. Okay, taking this off is gonna be more involved than that side. A couple extra wires, and I don't know. So I'm gonna take this off. Now I'm pretty sure, not 100% well, not sure, this is for my airbag, so I'm worried if I disconnect it, Am I going to pop the airbag? Here's a way to turn off, but that little switch there doesn't turn. So, better Google this one. Hold, please. Well, I didn't have to Google. I stuck the key in there, duh, and turned it off. So hopefully that means the passenger airbag. The newer cars don't come with the owner's manual. A lot of guesswork. All right. Forward march. Okay, that's a good sign. Got it off, and the airbag did not explode. This is going to have to go through the center of that, I believe. So, let's see. So we have a bolt, and a fender washer, heavy duty. We stick it in this hole. Then we have another washer that goes on the bottom. And we have this, it's not a cap nut, but a locking nut. And then we gotta tighten this down. And this is in four spots. One, two, three and four and we have an 18 and a 16 And I got to go around all four and do that. Don't worry with that. Let's look at the finished product after I get this swivel on. Okay, I put all four bolt assemblies in. Then I went around after they were all in and tightened them all up. Now I got to put the chair on the swivel with these four studs going into the holes and then putting the original bolts back up on there. Okay, let's do it. But before we put the chair back on, make sure you put your airbag connector through the center. Just to add a quick note, the bolts that originally put the chair back on, you'll need a longer socket. Mine's a size 16. 
and you'll have to swivel the chair a bit to reach them. Okay, let's get down to tightening them now. And we're done. It's my passenger, my ooh, driver's side. Here's my passenger side. It does swivel. It takes some pushing back and forward and turning at the same time because of the high seat here. But uh, I'm sure it's well worth it. The door closes. This does swivel. I can put it at any angle. And now I can sit here and look at the mess from the front of all the things I need to do to finish that silly ceiling. <laughs> However, the rotating chair is in. Swivel seat done. So, that's the quickie. Peace, love, and understanding, everybody. Take care of yourselves out there.